My name is Ruth Ewan and I'm an artist. Um, I'm based in Walthamstow in East London, um, but I'm originally from Fife in Scotland. We worked in the same place back in 2010 in Sheffield um, and she in, invited me um, to create a new project in Lincoln in response um, to the 800th anniversary of the ceiling of the Magna Carta, um, but also create something um, that would be shown in a, a public space and then show some work at the University Gallery as well. There's a historian who's um, written about the Magna Carta in a really interesting light um, called Peter Leinberg. Um, and I uh, read his book, um, The Magna Carta Manifesto, and that really um, got me thinking about it in a, diff a different way. Um, and also, um, in that book, he talks a lot about the idea of the global commons. Um, and that led me to think about um, making an object that was a globe. Um, globe making is something that is not very common anymore, and it's a very particular skill. So from a craft perspective, I was interested in how you would make a, gl a globe, who you would work with to make it, and the sort of technical challenges involved in that. I didn't want the globe to be a sort of singular vision. I wanted, it, it, like most of my projects, to be a sort of collaborative exercise that involved a lot of people and a lot of thinking, a lot of sharing of ideas. And I also wanted the globe to kind of hint at um, not necessarily a utopian place, but another, another place. Um, a world that's that's our world, but not our world at the same time. The way of doing that was to create um, workshops, and we ended up working with a primary school in Lincoln called the Meadows Primary School, and we worked with year um, five and six um, pupils. I think crucially, they were at that age where they still have that sort of utopian imagination is still very much active, and they're not afraid to say yes, I think the world should be like this, I think there should be none of that and more of this and I want to live in chocolate land. And it can all go a bit silly, but they're not self-consciously aware of that silliness. Ruth and a couple of the artists came into school and they talked with the children about a utopia, so like a perfect paradise. They had to create a set of rules, um, which obviously mirrored what was in the, uh, the Magna Carta document. Um, so they got a chance to create their own perfect paradise and if they were the king or the queen of that place, what rules would they implement and uh, apply to their place? And then they got a chance to uh, write this down, make a postcard and send it to somebody inviting them to their utopia. One of the strongest ideas that came out was idea for a place that was called The Difference and it had this sort of access of the free and the unfree and I think in the West we're kind of used to this idea of the developed world and the undeveloped world and you very much get taught that at school but then their description of what those free and unfree places were kind of transcended those boundaries. It's been really nice for them to have some real expertise come into the class, you know, from Ruth and a couple of the artists and stuff, and then see the finished product as well. It's really nice for them to go through the whole process from the beginning. Um, and I know Kerry Lee, who is in my class, whose artwork is is outside now in the Globe. It's, it's fantastic for her to see the, the whole journey and be part of it and then see the finished product. Um, and it's, it's great for the children. The idea of sh like sharing and collectively making something was something that really came back. That was the feedback that they did with Sophia. I think they accepted that artwork is not something that you make on a square like this, and that is mine. It's something that you can transfer and give out to people, and it goes out into the world, and other people can respond to it, and they can make their own opinion of it. And it can be reshaped by other people as well. 